And I was quite interested in Africa and uh, trace nutrition, and I was half thinking of putting money into that, but Angela chirped up. And what did you say? I said, well, I think, I think it would be good to start with Essex, really. I think that's where we've <coughs> been living while you've been managing Trebor, and that, I feel, is close to my heart. Let's think about Essex. So we, we sat in here, actually, and we were talking about it, and we thought, well, we start small, because we're not very well known in Essex, and we might do Chelmsford and maybe Malden, and that would be the size of a nice little community. But when we applied to the national authority, they said, oh, no, you can't run one like that. They're in enormous economies of scale with community foundations, and if you're going to do one, you've got to do the whole of Essex. So we were rather jumped into it to do something much better. When we uh, came out of Trebo, I, I went to the Charities Aid Foundation and said, look, we're looking for some help about guidance about making grants to various charities. And they put us in touch with a lovely lady, Sue Brooks, who we took on uh, to our staff for a year or two. And she was a brilliant lady. And she was very interested in community foundations and was helping organize a a challenge that came from America and they were offering substantial money, like a, a million pounds, towards a, a competition for the best three community foundations. And we thought this was very interesting. So she took us to Newcastle on Tyne, to what was it? Guildford. Guildford. And then we went down to Bristol as well um, and looked at them and enjoyed them and saw what they're doing and thought this is great. We haven't got one in, in Essex. So that's how we came to think about it. But we wanted to start small, but we were bullied into it. Uh, and the, Sue Brooks said, I met a lovely lady who would be superb for the Community Foundation, but she's not available at the moment. She's got a, a six month contract task. So I said, well, tell her that we're interested and we'll wait. So six months to the date, I rang her up and she said she would be free and be interested to meet us and we met her. And this uh, lady was? And this lady was Laura. Laura Warren. Laura Warren. Yeah. Laura the main thing that we did there was to get them to draw pictures of how they'd like to see Essex develop and grow. Uh, and we use the technique of drawing as the way to open up their minds to visualise the future of Essex. And we collected all those pictures together. And uh, those that sort of got a bit excited about the idea, we then came back to and asked them if they'd come on, uh, on the board. Well, we want to find the pockets of, of real deprivation, I think, and try and support them particularly. Because yeah. Essex is seen as a very affluent county, isn't it? But actually, there are big pockets of population, and that's really an ugly sort of mix, isn't it, somehow? I thought if we got to 10 million, we'd, we'd made it. I was quite clear. Uh, there's no question that, but we were a good start. They, they got a, an enormous feel for for what's needed and they worked together well and they had a, I don't know, they just understood what was needed. And they are the heart, I yeah. think, they're the mm. heart. Mm. I feel a lot of pride, yeah. t tremendously humble, you know, and very grateful to all the people who contributed so much, you know, the, the, the team of staff and all the yeah. trustees and... And it's done far, far better than we ever dared expect. I mean, I must admit it's gone, you know, expanded beautifully. It's been very I mean, exciting. Yeah, you know, uh, there's obviously a need, but uh, to see people come in and so willing to fill it was superb. And it's just great seeing that we've provided the mechanism for that to happen.